If you don't want your deck to end up like these that are popping up on the screen right now, which is absolutely frightening, then you might want to pay attention to today's video as I will go through the best practices when it comes to deck building, especially to the ledger, connection and flashing, which are both very important and usually overlooked. I am Tristan, aka the DIY Cabin Guy, structural engineer by day and cabin builder in the making on the weekends. Even though I have no prior building experience, I decided that I would build a 400 square foot cabin by myself to rent on Airbnb and I am showing you every step of the way. So let's get back to work. Okay, so today's gonna be pretty awesome. I've been looking to this spot for a while now. We're gonna build a small deck that's gonna go from the, you know, the cabin all the way to this beam that, you know, had been done for a while. So we're gonna build a ledger connection and then we're gonna run our joys going this way. So the first step is I'm placing my two by 10 against it and I'm gonna level it because that's gonna tell me the height of my ledger. And you saying, well, why are you using two by 10? I know this is way too much for all this for a five foot deck. The reason is, this is the same as what I've used in the house. If you remember, those girder here were two by 12. Those one here, I think are two by eight. So I have a four inch drop built in, but for that to work, I need to use two by 10 to like match my drop. I mean, again, check out the drawings that I did and maybe you'll get an idea. You can get them for free directly from my website, which is www.thediycabinguy.com forward slash blueprint. So, I mean, you can tell, I mean, this looks, Amazing. Now what I'm looking at doing is just marking this up here. That should be the top of my ledger because my ledger is going to be two by 10 as well. So this is too high. Then using my self-level laser, I shot a straight horizontal line between the two marks I just made. You really out to see the laser, especially as you go farther this way. So right now, see like you can see it here, it's gonna mock up my line as much as possible. So the next step is we're gonna install vinyl flashing, which is gonna go behind the ledger. So let's see how that's gonna work. Top of the ledger here. Um, yeah, two by 10 ledger, so nine and a quarter. Boom, that's the bottom of my ledger. So the flashing, bottom of the flashing needs to be at the bottom of the, the ledger. That's why I just mocked it up. Again, that would be so much easier with a second person. Okay. Got it secured. Oh, come on. I did here. Oh no. I did a mistake. I was not supposed to tie the bottom because I will need to put something underneath it. Well, I'm good to remove those staples. I can prep as much as possible. I still make the mistake. It's crazy. Okay, so because of my mistake, I am good to... Well, here I can cut around. I hate doing stupid mistake. Okay, not too bad. Ferration, staple removal. And you'll see why in a minute. Oh man, I'm gonna need a plier now. Ah, I got you. Ow! I have a plier in the garage. I'm just too lazy to go get it. So I would rather suffer and waste time. What about the scissor? Daddy. Can you guys come and uh, hold it for a minute? Because I don't know, I'm gonna supposed to nail it. <sighs> I have to waste some time and shim it somehow. Mm. Okay. Uh, how's that look? Uh, oh, come on. How 
can't tell if we're at the edge or not. Well, uh, I guess we'll cut what's sticking out. That's the best I could do. Here's the reason why I just had to remove all the staple at the bottom. It's because we're gonna use one of those little, I don't know, I think it's called a drip edge. Uh, it's just like pretty much an angle uh, and it will, it's gonna slide under this. It goes under the flashing. So it's gonna go here and then we can just kind of slide it so it goes all the way to the edge. Okay, let's finish up here. Okay, well that all fell, so that's good. Wow, this is so annoying. Come on, man. Start over here and slide it. Boom. Not least, I won't go anywhere. Please be good. I don't want to have to get that nail away. Slide it. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, come on. Oh. Goodness. Well, it's starting to look like a ledger. Oh, the last little piece. Boom. Let's try and not make a big mess here. Okay, not bad. And I'll first here. Uh, what's eight plus 16? Uh, 24. Yeah. So because of like the location of my post here on this outer beam, I'm actually having to like place one at eight inches and then everything 16 on center. I mean, again, it'll make much more sense when I build the, the front of the cabin. Uh, no, I think I'm messing it up. 56 plus 16. <laughs> C'est 72, mon gars. Oh là là, t'es sérieux? Yeah, going to engineering school, not available to add up 16. That's how we do it. 136, 146, 156, moins 4, ça fait 152. Same thing on the beam. Perfect. So here's the hanger, LUS 28. I'm using some Simpson timber screw to secure the ledger to the cabin. Uh, there is a table on the back of the box similar to this one that I'm just showing you which tells you what spacing to use depending on the size of your deck. I'm here using two at 16 inches on center which is absolutely not necessary but the box came with 50 screws so why not? So you're probably gonna wonder, oh, we can attach this one, because obviously you can't really 
put, you know, uh, typical hangers here is cause, well, that's the end of it. So hopefully there's a solution. And that's when you're using this guy, which is a, a concealed flange hanger, which is called LUC210Z in this case. And it's gonna go right here. And that's a lot of nails. Good, good, good. So because it goes straight, you'll need to use the SDS screws that I've used in the past because those fit perfectly into a two by. This is just a deck ledger, I mean, flashing, I don't know, something that goes exactly above your ledger and then goes against the, the, the house. So I'm gonna place it here. And I'm obviously using roofing nails because they have a really flat head. And so now the last step to finish this flashing properly, because you see here, water could still get behind this. So we're gonna use a, a flashing tape and apply this right here over that, which will go both over this, that, and this. So the water will go over it and protect the house. So I don't know if you paid attention, but all the cut ends are actually facing me because I wanted to be able to like come back and treat them. I mean, for a deck, I think it's a good idea because this is obviously gonna get exposed to rain and moisture. Here's the last thing I would like to do for flashing is, I mean, this tape is good, it's flashing tape, but it's pretty thick. So I'm actually gonna add another layer of uh, house wrap tape on top of it. So something like that. So the last thing I wanted to do, which is not, necessarily mandatory I guess is I'm gonna use those screws and I mean because you know it's kind of like I mean this deck is ridiculously small but let's say that you know for Apple reason you needed this to be pinned to the beam below it then using those screws uh, would be really helpful for that
So here is how you do a deck. I think the right way, you know, doing proper flashing and proper framing. So in the next episode, you will see how I installed this window you see behind me, but also I destroyed one just by being a little stupid. Trust me, you won't want to make that mistake. So click here on the side to see that episode and find out what happened. But if you're new here, well, welcome and consider clicking on this other side, which has the playlist for the cabin series, which will take you from the beginning of this adventure. And I hope you will enjoy it. So I will see you next time for more cabin building.